motivation video. So for the month of June, I'm going to be uploading all kinds of motivational videos as if it were January. So please leave a comment down below and let me know what kinds of motivational videos you would like this month because I know that for some of you and me included, I have like lost that, you know, January motivation and I don't want to wait until January next year to get it all back. So I'm going to be doing some mid-year motivation. So let's all get motivated together. So for the first video, I am doing some wardrobe decluttering. This month it is winter here in Australia and I know in so many other countries it is summer. So it's like the best time to like declutter the wardrobe. I really need to separate my seasonal wardrobes and put winter, you know, right where I need it all the time and summer in some storage. So that's what I've done in today's video. This is only part one though because <laughs> there's a lot of wardrobe to get through. So I just uh, saw a shelf that's in my bathroom storage cupboard and I was like, I can't deal with this mess anymore. Oh my God, you're going to see it in a second. It's so bad. And I was like, I need to fix this. And I thought I would just film it and show you guys all of the clothes that I'm keeping, all of the clothes I'm getting rid of. I have some new pieces that will all be linked in the description if you are interested in them as well. And yeah, I'm going to have more wardrobe videos coming this month, but this is the first one. So it feels so good and I'm just so excited to share this with you. So I hope you enjoy. And welcome to the disaster zone. It's pretty bad, right? So it's just... All of my bottoms, jeans, skirts, pants, and then sweaters. And it's time to go through all this and clean it all out. So let's get it out of here. I took the easy option and just put everything onto my bed. Like this is actually ridiculous. So the plan is anything that is summer clothing that I am not keeping will be either donated or sold. Anything that I am keeping will go back into that cupboard. Anything that I plan to wear like right now in winter will go into my wardrobe because I dug back out this little um, bookshelf, if you guys remember from my last house, I had a couple bookshelves in my wardrobe for clothes and stuff, or I think I had shoes on them, whatever. I've decided I'm going to put this into my bookshelf and put probably shoes in this one, and then I will like maybe move some of the other stuff and just start like a, a jeans pile and a sweaters pile in my actual wardrobe, and then the other stuff can just go into storage. <music> I've broken everything down into categories. So I have pants and then I have more formal evening skirts. I have a couple of like jumpers. Over the back here I have a couple of pieces, leggings and a skirt that I kind of use when I'm fake tanning. Like it's just kind of almost rag type clothes. Then I have some gym clothes. I have jeans. I have a pile of skirts and one pair, no two pairs of shorts because I don't really own shorts. And then a bunch of knitwear up the back. So now I'm going to go through everything with you and explain why I'm getting rid of some things and why I'm keeping them. And then maybe you'll do the same with your wardrobe. I'm going to work just from this area and walk through things with you. So I have this knit here from Honey Bum Boutique. It's in a size small. It's like this crossover knit, as you can see. Look, it's not that great a quality and I haven't reached for it at all since it's become winter. So I think it's time to move this one on. Besides, it's not the easiest top to wear because like you can't really wear a bra under it. And if you move the wrong way, then you like your boob can just like fall out the bottom of the crossover because it's like an off the shoulder top. It's not convenient and it's really not a great winter top. So I think it's time for this one to go. Okay, this next one is a major disappointment to me. So this one is a um, cardigan I got from Shopo back in January. I love it, it's super long, it's got pockets, and it was so cute when I first got it, but it's super fluffy now, like it's just not a great quality and it looks really cheap at the moment. Like it's just kind of like, I don't know, the, the quality is terrible and I would like to invest in one because I will wear a gray cardigan for the rest of my life. One that's actually not gonna go fluffy and yuck. Next, I have a Tommy Hill figure sweater. It's adorable, it's a gray little sweater. It has like the little um, embroidery up here. I wear this one quite often, so I'm gonna keep it. I have my brand new knit. This one I showed you guys in Perth, but I never actually really showed you what the brand was. It's called um, Lulu and Rose. I have it in an extra small. I got it off the Iconic website because I do all my shopping on the Iconic at the moment and I actually love it. So this one I can definitely have linked in the description for you and it's staying. And the last knit that I have here, I am wearing a knit that I'm keeping and there's actually another knit in my office that I'm keeping. But out of all the stuff that I have here, this one is like a um, oversized like creamy white turtleneck knit that I got from Good Night Macaroon and I'm not 
keeping this one. It's brand new, but I learnt, finally learnt, what's wrong with knits and my body shape. So, see how this is really wide and it's got like a bat wing? I can't do bat wing or really wide knits. My knits need to be thin, otherwise they just like, I don't know how to explain it, they just don't work on my body. See how this one's thin and it kind of comes in if the if the sleeve like this is as much loose sleeve that I will do as soon as it comes like down here I just look really boxy and it makes me look really large so unfortunately I just don't have the body type for like big loose oversized bat wing knits so unfortunately this one has to go I have some skirts I'm going through all my skirts and shorts so I have this nice long skirt that I got just this summer gone from Steli clothing it's in a beautiful khaki color Definitely needs to be ironed. I really would like to invest in stuff that doesn't need to be ironed. Um, I love this skirt. It's got beautiful pockets at the front. It's a beautiful shape. Um, I have a picture on my Instagram and I will yeah, have all that linked in the description if you would like to go and see the photo of me wearing it. The only problem is, is that a couple of buttons at the front here, the buttonholes are actually too large for the buttons. So when you're walking along, it just kind of pops open and you like, you don't want everything to be on display, so it's really not a great skirt in that sense. But it'll be a really quick and simple fix. I can just stitch these button loops um, just a little bit together and so that the buttons will actually stay inside them and then I can wear it. If I can't fix it, it's going, but I, I will definitely wear this again next summer. So this one's going to go into storage. I bought this one from Boohoo. You know how Boohoo is like real hit and miss? And I was looking at all their like patterned skirts. The problem is, is you can't tell what kind of fabric it is. And it's just honestly the cheapest, crappiest, like just printed check. I was actually really hoping that this would be like a nice kind of like warm, almost like flannelette type fabric, but no, it's just a printed, like laser printed, cheap fabric. So I'm, I haven't even taken the tag off and I don't plan to, it's going. So I have some denim shorts. I bought these from Glassons last summer. I find a lot of shorts tend to like cut me in here and then I have like muffin top when I wear high-waisted stuff and I hate it. So I wanted it to be like a little bit bigger so that I could wear crop tops and not look like I'm bulging out everywhere. Anyway, I don't know whether like I lost weight or whether these got like bigger. I need to just find a nice pair that doesn't cut in but also that's not too big because these are way too big now so I don't really know what happened to them but that was a really silly idea to try and buy a bigger size to get to, to fit around my waist and it didn't work. I have another skirt that I've never worn, but I don't want to get rid of it. So I bought this I am Gia, I think that's how you say it, skirt at like Christmas time, you know, when everything's all like, um, you know, glitzy, New Year's Eve kind of stuff. I bought this skirt, it's um, gold and then like black sequins and I love it and I haven't worn it yet and I'm sorry but I know this is ridiculous I'm keeping it because I just I need to keep it as a sequin skirt I have a very hard time throwing sequin things out I have two dresses in my wardrobe purely because they're sequins not because I ever wear them I just I can't throw it out next I have a leather skirt this is from forever new I got this last winter I love it it's got like a beautiful kind of like layer to it it kind of looks like a wraparound skirt uh, zipper in the center back Really, really beautiful, super flattering, like on my body shape. It sits perfectly around my waist. So I have quite a wide waist. Unfortunately, I don't have a little waist, which everybody wants, but I just don't have it. And I don't really care that I don't have it, to be honest. It's just unfortunate because like I find things will fit like they'll, it'll just like kill me in the middle. It'll be just way too tight around the middle, but then it'll fit like my hips, which is really frustrating. So um, this is actually a perfect fit. It fits perfectly around my waist around the hips, everything, doesn't cut in. Oh, I love this skirt, it's staying. Next, I have a really fun little white and black striped skirt from Bardot, lots of layers, a tie around it. I did wear this quite a bit over summer. You know what, I'm actually gonna put this into storage and keep it because I think I will wear it again next summer because it's so cute. Next is a denim skirt. This is a brand called Refuge, Gem Refuge Denim and it is a size. 14, but I think it could be a kid's 14 because when I tried on the size 8, it was like way too small So I don't know what the sizing was, but I got it in a little boutique in my hometown. Love it. It's staying I have this cute little black skirt that I got from Steli clothing again last year It's one of those little wraparound skirts with a tie you saw these everywhere The quality isn't great and I can feel that it's like starting to fall apart I really don't think I'm gonna get another summer out of this so I'm gonna get rid of this one I have this beautiful green skirt that I bought when I was at forever 21 in LA last year I actually really like it. It fits beautifully. Again, it's another one of those top skirts that just fits really nicely around my waist. 
and I have worn this out a few times and it's a beautiful winter color so I'm keeping it and the last item I have are these shorts that I got from forever new a couple of years ago and they had them in stock multiple years in a row with like this tie that goes around the middle of them and I just don't wear them so they're going next up a jeans and this is a tough one I have so many pairs of black jeans for quite a while there my favorite jeans were the black ones black Santiago jeans from factory I am wearing a pair right now these are probably my nicest lot out of all the ones that I have these ones are another lot in my hand however they've all faded and they're just very casual jeans now like I cannot wear these out to nice events because they're too faded you'd think I would throw out that many pairs of jeans but I just I can't because I wear jeans every single day like working from home my outfit is like jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a knit so I have three black jeans the ones I'm wearing two in this hand I have a ripped version of them and I'm gonna keep all of them I know that's ridiculous but this is what I wear every day and then I have one pair of nice brand new black jeans these are from feather and noise they are gorgeous they're a beautiful fit they have like a really nice little um, frill like frilled frayed hem at the bottom of them they're really high-waisted way more high-waisted than the Santiago jeans these are what I took to Perth with me, so if you saw any of my black jeans, this is what I had on over there. So these are now going to be my new, like, nice black jeans that are still dark, they haven't faded, and these are like special occasion jeans. And then these are just my, like, I'm running errands and I'm working around the house jeans. Coloured jeans. I have one dark pair of jeans that are in the wash, keeping those ones because, again, they're just another pair of dark jeans that are quite nice. These here are a pair of light wash denim jeans. They're super ripped up, as you can tell. Um, in fact, one of the rips is almost just a little too high. These ones I'm actually going to get rid of because the rips have gotten too ripped for me. And I really stupidly spilt um, a coffee down the leg of them when I was in Kmart. And I can't get it out. And so I think I'm going to pass these on and try and find some nice blue denim jeans. I would like to invest in some nice blue ones. So I think that's where this is going. And the last pair of jeans I have are some white factory Santiago jeans. However, for whatever reason, the day that I bought these, I was umming and ahhing between the plain white and the whipped, ripped, <laughs> whipped, right? The whipped, no, the ripped white ones. Try saying that 10 times. Um, these ones, and for some reason, I decided to do the ripped ones. Why? Why did I do this? I actually talked about this in my Perth vlog. I think I'm going to turn these jeans in and invest in some really beautiful, crisp looking white ones. I think these have had their time. I've had these for over two years now as well. And I just, I don't like the rips on the white. I don't know what it is. I can deal with rips in black, but I can't deal with rips in, right, in white. Wow. I'm giving up on that. But I think I'm going to get rid of these. I'll probably hold on, the, on to them until I get a new pair. But um, I would like some plain white jeans. So I have two kind of gymish loungewear pants. And I feel like I need to get more. I have these navy blue super, super comfortable jeans. I mean jeans. Pants that I got from Cotton On Body last year. Like these are incredible. Like slinky. I don't know how to explain it. But they're delicious. I really would like to go get them in a grey. And then I also have my black leggings from... Lululemon. These are the greatest leggings ever. If you have any legging suggestions that are similar to Lululemon ones, please let me know because I would like to have a million of these, but they are ridiculously expensive at $120 a pair, but they are amazing. They're just really fluffy. I have a couple of jumpers. So I have one hoodie, zip up hoodie, which is actually just over on my bed, keeping the zip up hoodie. I have this um, super oversized jumper from a trip that I went on to New Zealand and I just, I never wear it. And I think it's time to pass it on. You know, I have the photos, I have the memories. I don't think I can keep this. In the comments below, please tell me whether I should keep this or not. Can I put a poll somewhere? I don't know. Vote. Tell me which what I should do with this. Do I keep it for sentimental value and never wear it or just pass it on and just live off the memories and the photos that I have of that time? And this is my new ultimate, all-time favorite jumper on the face of the planet. This is from Mechaland. I don't know if any of you have one of these from Mechaland, if you went to Mechaland. This is the greatest hoodie on the face of the planet and I wish I could not get more from Mecca. It's got like a, you know, this Mecca print that they had on the front of it. It's got like a little Mechaland logo on the back of it. I wear this everywhere. This is the most comfortable jumper and it comes with me everywhere because it's my new favorite, so it's definitely staying. I have two more formal skirts. I have one high-waisted little black skirt from Bardot. Definitely gonna keep this little guy because um, I use this when I go out night times, like if I have a, you know, going out for girls' drinks or something, this is what I like to wear sometimes. 
And then I also have this beautiful white, super heavy, um, stretchy fabric, fabric, it's not even a word, um, skirt from Seed that has this beautiful peplum at the bottom. And I got this in 2015. So, you know, like I've had this a while and I can't get rid of it because I still wear it a couple times a year. So it's staying. I have pants. And I'm trying to wear more pants and steer clear of jeans. You guys have seen these a million times before. Again, I'll put some Instagram posts down to these pants. They are super flowy white culottes I got from Seed in 2015. And they're the greatest pair of pants I feel like I've ever invested in. I love them and I really don't want to ever get rid of them. They're so comfortable and I started wearing them this year instead of just on special occasions like every day in summer. Best decision I made. And then recently I bought these amazing orange ones from a brand called Daisy on the Iconic. I will have these linked below. They're like satin. Oh my gosh, look at that shimmer. They are super flowy, super luxurious feeling, and I just love the way they look. Only problem is, I warn you, like with me and my little stomach that I have, it tends, the fabric tends to just kind of like sit here, so you kind of can end up looking a little bit bigger around the middle, but um, to be honest, I really don't care. I was like, eh, no one's gonna really be paying that much attention to my stomach, so I decided to wear them anyway. I feel like it would be quite nice with maybe like a bodysuit or some sort of like maybe pull-in underwear of some sorts, but other than that, really beautiful and they feel amazing to wear, so I'll definitely have those linked in the description. I have these khaki ones that I got from Steli Clothing. Unfortunately, super high-waisted, and again, it does that whole like, the fabric clings to my stomach and it just, makes me look a little bit bigger than I think I am. I pull them up high enough so that they don't cut into my stomach and then they're too short in the length so I can't wear them so I'm gonna actually get rid of these because I've not really worn them that much so it's time to to pass these off to a new home. And the last pair of pants that I have that are non-jeans are these super stretchy American apparel kind of wet look leggings that I haven't worn in a million years. I bought these a couple of years ago. Look at how tiny this is. Like can you see? How tiny that is in comparison to like the rest of me these are the hardest things to get on and off but you can get them on and off like you can you like they stretch but and I don't wear them so I'm actually gonna pass these off I really didn't think I would but I haven't worn these in over a year so okay so I've got my nice pants I also have my nice skirts my favorite jumper my fake tanning stuff or rags whatever you want to call them my Jimmy's kind of loungewear clothes my jeans I have one pile of skirts that are going into storage, another pile of skirts that I can kind of wear in this season, um, a couple of knits, and then a big pile of stuff down here that I think I'm going to get rid of. I feel like I got rid of half of it, and that's a solid effort. So now I'm going to store this up and kind of show you how I'm going to put this into my wardrobe. Please don't judge me. I don't know how this happened. I just kept shoving things in here, and now my wardrobe is a complete disaster zone. <laughs> oh, okay, let's clean this up. I hate it. I'm not loving it at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some shoes in here and then I'm going to put some stuff up in that cupboard there. I feel like that is way better. And so I'm just going to go and clean out that other shelf and then um, put my pants up in there. I cleared out one of the shelves and I stacked all my jeans up, which look fabulous. And then just for fun, I've put a bag, some sunglasses and some earrings in here just to take some photos. So this may very well be the thumbnail. I haven't decided how it's actually going to look though, so yeah, we're just going to keep going. Uh, do I dare show you up there? Oh look, there's a, there's a sneak peek. Oh no, I'm going to show you. A um, couple of handbags and lots of earrings and accessories. Man, this video is getting long. I got a little carried away with being creative and now my next shelf looks like a store. And I know it seems ridiculous, but there's kind of a reason for this. So it, it will make sense when I explain it. So the cupboard that I had or everything in is behind the door. And it's actually a really annoying cupboard to get into. So what I did was I brought out these knitted tops that I wear like every single day. And then I've also brought out my jeans, which I wear every single day. And at the bottom of these two shelves is a set of drawers with clothes that I wear every single day. So it made sense to bring these out here. Everything else can go back into the wardrobe out there because I just don't go in there very often. And then ever since I got back from Perth, I've just left my most used accessories up here. So like I have a jewelry box, but I just decided to leave all of these here because I just can grab them whenever I need. So basically everything in these two shelves are just my most used products. They're just there, ready for me to grab, my favorites. And then the only things I had to move off these shelves and get them out of the way were one bag, two belts, and then some a mug and a couple of like coaster things. 
and they look totally fine up here. I did move these bags out of the way so I can fit something else here, but that's kind of neatened up. I can come back to that at another date, but now I have this great collection of all my most worn and most favorite clothes and accessories just in the one spot. Then back here I have four piles. I have pants that I do not wear very often. I have skirts that are for summer, so they're going into storage. I have my gymish slash loungewear and then my tanning clothes. And so all of these can go back out into that other cupboard and then there'll be less in that cupboard and this will just look way neater with all of this out there. So I'm gonna go put these out there now. That is my wardrobe declutter organization part one. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you're interested uh, in seeing the other parts because I have a lot of work to do. Um, and I hope you feel a little bit more motivated and are really excited for mid-year motivation. I'm very excited. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Up the top of you, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I'll leave a link to another one of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one.